He will ask, what is Brisson's genre? And will answer, he doesn't have one. Brisson is Brisson. He is a genre in himself. And he will say that the same is true for Bergman and Antonioni and Kurosawa, and by implication, he will write, the very concept of genre is as cold as the tomb. Seeing Kubrick's 2001, he will criticize the film for being too enamored by the spectacle of the genre, for being too exotic, too immaculate. He will compare the film to a museum where they demonstrate the newest technological achievements. He will spend five minutes showing a man in an ordinary car traveling along the highway and less than two minutes showing his main character traveling through space. He will be occupied with the elemental things of Earth, which will be a theme throughout the film. Most of all, he will question the limits of science in engaging the mysteries of existence. In doing so, he will pit science against fiction, each with their own weight and history in pursuit of truth and knowledge, science and fiction. Мы стоим на пороге величайшего открытия, и мне бы не хотелось, чтобы на наше решение оказал влияние тот факт, что мы опираемся на наблюдение человека безо всякой ученой степени. Я не имею права выносить решения, руководствуясь душевными порывами. Я не поэт. А кто приходил? Она умерла десять лет тому назад. То, что ты видел, материализация твоего представления о ней. Вопрос это всегда желание правды. А для сохранения простых человеческих истин нужен тайн, тайны счастья, смерти, любви. Да вы не женщина и не человек. Поймите вы, наконец, если вы вообще способны что-нибудь понимать. Вы только ее повторение. Механическое повторение. Копия. Матрица. Ну я... Я... Становлюсь человеком. Чувствую нисколько не меньше, чем вы. The woman who may or may not be a woman or a human being, will be left alone in the space station's library. When the main character returns, he will find her lost in thought, staring intently at Bruegel's Hunter in the Snow, the same painting that will appear in Lars von Trier's Melancholia. It is this painting that will give her a deeper sense of humanity The scene will conclude with a moment of weightlessness. It will be Tarkovsky's first image of levitation, depicting the state of love, a levitation first hinted at in Ivan's childhood, and seen later, in its most idealized form, in the mirror and the sacrifice. It is art that triumphs here, that speaks to the mystery of existence. He will write, what is art? Like a declaration of love, the consciousness of our dependence on each other, a confession, an unconscious act that nonetheless reflects the true meaning of life, love, and sacrifice. Ну какое все это имеет значение, если это не дороже, чем все научные истины, которые когда-либо существовали в мире? Solaris will be a call to remain human in the face of the unknown in the face of technological progress. More than ever, poetry matters, not just science, but science and the arts, science and fiction. We need other worlds. We need a circle.